Good evening, America. I'm here to talk to you about a serious topic, the topic of pain relief. Did you know that right now there are states where pharmacists can refuse to fill the pain pill prescriptions of chronic pain patients and even people dying of stage four cancer? Now, they can do this without fear of any legal repercussions. And while this is a good start, we have a long way to go if we are going to deny pain relief to absolutely every man, woman, and child in this country. America, this is a serious issue, and we absolutely have to redouble our efforts to keep people from getting access to pain medication. I mean, the National Institutes of Health went on record as saying that there are at least 2.1 million people currently addicted to pain medication. And that's a big number. It's not as big as that other number. What was it? Uh, over 200 million. That's the number of pain pill prescriptions that were actually written in the year 2013. So when you compare those two numbers together, which we never want people to do, uh, you'd realize that less than 1% of the people who had access to pain medication actually became addicted. Ideally, we'd like to see at least 200 million new addicts wandering the streets, right? But that's okay. We don't ever have to mention that other number, and no one is ever going to research this stuff anyway, because people are, by and large, lazy, and they'll just accept whatever truths <laughs> we decide to spoon-feed them. This is all for their own good, by the way. I mean, imagine how bad the people at the CDC, FDA, and DEA would feel if they were to allow dying cancer patients to become addicted to their morphine right before they croaked. We cannot have that. We owe our citizens better than that. Remember, it's better to die in agony than addicted. So we will just continue to tighten the legislative noose around the necks of those who need pain relief the most, for their own protection, even though absolutely no society in the history of history has ever been able to effectively legislate away the problem of addiction. That shouldn't keep us from trying, though. I mean, really, the problem with prohibition is that they gave up too soon, weaklings. Rest assured, America, that while right now our attention may be focused only on opioid-based pain relief, we have our eye on the prize. We're talking about things like Advil, Tylenol, Theraflu, NyQuil, DayQuil, Aleve. Think about it, they're all just essentially gateway drugs to the hard stuff. I mean, the first time that little Billy is given an Advil because he sprained his leg playing football, You've set him on the path to becoming a junkie, dead in an alley at the age of 23 with a needle sticking out of his arm. Because that's the inevitable fate of anyone who experiences the sweet, sweet taste of life without pain. We owe our children better than that, America. Besides which, have you ever talked to any of these people? Oh my god, all they do is complain about their fibromyalgia and their Crohn's and their dying of cancer. No, our mission is clear, and we must never waver in our resolve to protect our citizens from the statistically unlikely fate of becoming addicted to their own pain medication. Thank you for listening, and may God bless the United States of America.